Hey guys, it's Justin and Jeremy here again and I'm back with another video today and I'm going to be telling you guys today the three habits that changed my life in my early 20s. Three habits that changed my life in my early 20s. Like this, these are habits that can set you apart from your peers. These are habits that will set you free if you can form them this early. They will set you free for the rest of your life. These three habits that I'm about to talk about and the last one is the most important so I want you guys to stay to, stay to the end. Let's get to it. Number one, reading books. See, uh, there's nothing I have seen. Uh, nothing comes close to reading books. Nothing. I, I, I have tried to convince some of my friends and convince people that you know that I get close to. I tell them read books, but most people say they don't have the time. Most people say what's in books. Africans don't like to read books, and that's why we are missing out. There's a lot of information in books. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. Ninety percent of the things I know today. Ninety percent of the things I know today. Ninety percent of the things that has brought me little fame and money and just everything is books 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 i would recommend everybody to read books and not just fiction this time i'm talking about non-fiction books like self-development books books on psychology human behavior see you don't know anything that's the truth even that i have read a lot i still feel like i don't know anything because you can never know everything you never know where you could learn something from that could change your life. You never know. You could be reading for 10 years and then only one book that you read in the 11th year, that book could change your life. And then accumulating all those other stuff that you have read in, in those 10 years, it could happen in the first year, it could happen in some months. It happened for me in two years. I wasn't, I wasn't fast enough because I, I had learned, I had learned many things, but I, I wasn't fast enough in uh, putting it out there and then, you know, like putting what probably to prominence. I, I wasn't fast in putting it out there and letting people know, um, and, and teaching people my knowledge and like letting people know what I know. You understand? And that's why it took me so long to maybe earn from it. But the truth is, nothing replaces your mindset. You die with your mindset. You teach others and you help others with your mindset and reading is the only thing that can change your mindset. Why do I say so? See, your experiences in life, fine, they can help you make some choices and decisions and they can build up your mindset. But why not learn from other people's experiences? Read about other people. Read about how to develop your social life. Read about anything you have an interest in. There's always a book for it. There's always there's a book for everything you have an interest in. You should be reading, bro. You should be reading. You should be reading. Uh, there's no excuse. Okay, if you cannot read, listen to audiobooks. See, let's see about it. When you are reading, you, you don't go know how your mind changes. You don't you, like it, it, it's, it's, it's kind of magical because you are you are focused on what you are reading words and it's it's it, it's like the um, changing into something in your brain is. It's a totally different thing. Everybody should read. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to put it. You should read books. If you want to change your life, if you want to change your thinking, please read books. And that's actually a, 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 the title of a book that, the first book I ever read by Brian Tracy. Change your thinking, change your life. And that's the book I recommend for everybody who asks me for book recommendation. That's the first book I recommend. Because that book changed my thinking. And in turn, it changed my life. Change your thinking, change your life. Bro, I cannot overemphasize it enough. I, there's no way I can tell you my story that you can feel what I'm really saying, except you go through that experience. You should be reading books. You should be reading books. Read self development books, books on psychology, books that you, things I have interest in, books on psychology, human relations, book on so many things. Take video courses, you know. You should be improving your life mentally by reading books you should be improving your life intellectually by reading books you just get to know more you feel more confident because you know that you know more than the average person it changes your it changes your life as a whole you should be reading books there's no excuse for not reading books if you cannot read books listen to audiobooks there are audiobooks on youtube of almost every book so just plug it in your ears and listen to it but the, the truth is that listening is like a passive process but actually reading, 
is a, an active process because you are involved, your brains, your neurons are involved, your nervous system is involved, your, 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 your senses are involved, your eyes, your hands, you're holding the book, your, your concentration, your focus. It increases your, your focus and concentration, reading, reading books. It increases your focus and concentration and it gives you a totally different view of life. You learn from other people who have lived a better life than you. And this time you're not, learning, you're not just learning from one person, you're learning from different people. It's a life-changing experience. Please, please, you should be reading books. You should be reading. There's no excuse for not reading books. There's no excuse. Please, read books. If you want some book recommendations, let me give you some. Change your thinking, change your life. How to Win Friends and Friends People by Dale Carnegie. Um, Think and Grow Rich by um, 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 Napoleon. I've forgotten his other name. Digital Minimalism by Carl Newport. Just, there, there are just so many books out there. If you want more book re recommendations, hit me up on Instagram at Justin and German and I will give you more um, book, re book recommendations. You really have to grade in. I can overemphasize this enough. Now, the second habit that changed my life totally in my 20s was exercising. And these habits I'm talking about, if you can build these habits when you are young like this, Imagine what you'll be doing when you're old. You'll be doing greater things, bro. You'll be doing, you'll be doing mad things. You'll be doing mad things. These are things that you should, the habits that you should build up now, so that it won't be hard for you to build them up when you're old, so that you can get used to them now. The second habit, exercising. You should be exercising. You see, I, I, I always say, I say there's a physical activity for everybody. You don't have to be lifting weights and working out. Though I encourage you to still lift weights once in a while, you know. Just feel that resistance and feel how you know you, you could just uh, uh, like in your mind turn it to you fighting against the world, you know, you fighting against the, like the world is trying to bring you down and you're lifting with it's just crazy. That's what I do, <coughs> that's what I do sometimes, you know, that's what I do sometimes, just you know, just for just to just to build your mind and nothing, no, no challenge, no problem can, can bring you down. It just takes a whole different tone if you can put it that way. But everybody should be engaged in physical activity, not only for your health but for mental benefits, so that you can you you, you feel stronger and you feel more confident and you increase your self-esteem. Do you understand? You should be involved in the physical activity. You should be involved in the physical activity. You should be involved in physical activity. Running, playing tennis, whatever sport catches your interest, you should be doing that. You should be, you should be, you should be exercising. You should be exercising. I don't care if you don't want to lift weights. You say, oh, I don't want my body to, to be too big. I don't want to be big. I get you. But please engage in other physical activities. If it's boxing, wrestling, fighting, judo, whatever it is, aerobics, please just be involved in physical activity. It keeps your health and it improves your self-esteem and you feel good about yourself. The chemical dopamine and some endorphins are released when you work out. Those are feel good hormones and you feel good and better about yourself. So please work out, exercise. If you want to build your body like mine, I have um, my own workout routine that could be available for you. Send me a DM on Instagram. If you are really interested in working out and changing the way you look, send me a DM on Instagram if you are interested. Now, the third habit that could change your life in your 20s. It's a habit of spirituality. What do I mean? I'm not an overly spiritual person, like, you know, a, a religious person who will pray, but I believe in God, and I believe in religion, and I believe in spirituality. I'm a Christian, and I love God, and I pray to God and ask Him for help. I don't, I, 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 I cannot really get why people would not want to involve God in their life. You see, God is an abstract being, and people are, and people are talking about the, uh, and religion being the problem of Africa and everything and that is a fucking big lie. The other countries are religious that are progressing. Religion is not a problem of Africa. There's religion all over the world. Those countries are progressing. It's the individual that is the problem of Africa. Me and you we are the problem of Africa. It's not religion. The way we think, the way we act, the way we behave cause the problem of Africa. We are not you're you are not different from your leaders that you are blaming. That's the truth. If you get there, you'll probably do a worse job. What, what work have you done on yourself that, that, that you think if you get to that position, 
you will do better. What have you done? What have you done on yourself? What work have you done on yourself? Are you even as self-aware as possible? This is another um, thing that great reading books brings to you. It makes you more self-aware. You become very self-aware. You become very self-aware. You become very self-aware of your strengths, of your weaknesses. That's why I encourage people to read books on human relations, read books on on um, psychology, read books on how to how to be uh, like uh, social books on on, on on socialism, autobiographies. Read books about other people who have lived lives that you can that you want to emulate. Read books. Read books. Read books. It will change your mindset, and you get to know the real problem of, Ni of, of Nigeria or Africa. It's not religion. Back to what I was saying. I would advise everybody, see, involve God in your life. You cannot do life alone. You don't have that strength. God created you, bro. God created you. You cannot do without Him. You cannot do without Him. I know it's hard. Sometimes people say, I don't have time to... Nobody has the time. But at least when you remember, pray in the morning. When you remember, pray in the afternoon. I remember praying in the evening. Ask God for help. Are you, oh, oh, oh. I see it as pride that you are going through stress and some kind of things. And you know, yes, most people don't remember God. But when, when you are going through trouble because you don't remember Him, most people remember God when you are going through trouble. So I don't remember Him when everything is going well. But I'm telling you, when everything is going well, and you remember God, pray. Just say something. Thank Him for what's happening. Be grateful. Live a life of gratitude. All that, all, all this boy down to spirituality. Thank God for it. When you wake up, you thank God for for, for 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 giving you a good day. Be happy with life. Try to be happy. Try to be optimistic. Try to see the good side of life, and that only comes from you being, you 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 looking outside yourself, not being selfish. That's where spirituality comes in. Giving your time to God. Not that 15 minutes that you that you pray that, that you used to pray to God, or the 15 minutes that you used to to, to, to just spend being grateful and, and reading the Bible, or you know. Doing, doing a spiritual act that's been outside yourself that that's you being unselfish and most people find it hard to do because we are normally selfish human beings and we don't see ourselves as ourselves that's why i'm telling you that if you get to where your leaders are that you are blaming that they are bad and everything if you get to that position you do worse than them you cannot blame a shoe that you have not been in you cannot judge an experience that you have not experienced so these are the three um habits that changed my life in my 20s and where i am today because of the books i've read and where i am today because of the uh, of i'm still healthy today because of exercise and i'm where i am today because of god i never will reach anywhere so but i'm just saying i'm just saying learn to be grateful learn to be happy learn to live your life it's nothing that you, you could die tomorrow why not enjoy today why not be happy today? Why not form good habits today? I cannot overemphasize reading enough. Start reading books. Start exercising. And start putting God first in your life. Catch you guys in another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Supporting me. One love guys. Ciao. One love.